PJ Dells. We got the direct with the one and only PJ Black. Oh man, we got we got to widen it out. Get the gun show going. Which way's the beach? <laughs> so how you doing, brother? I'm doing good, man. WrestleK is my fourth year in a row. I love it. I love interacting with fans. This is this is as a, as a wrestler. This for me, this is cool. I'm gonna ask you a question. I don't know if you can answer it, but the people want to know what the hell is going on with Lucha Underground. What, right currently? Yes. Man, I don't know. So, MGM owns the rights to, to it, right? So, technically, they can shop it around. But I guess Al Ray still owns the LLC that owns most of it somehow. And there's, those two companies are fighting. It's worse than wrestling politics. Like, oh. They can just get together. I think wrestling, Lucha would just take off. It would be, it'd be amazing. I mean, it's a great show. I love it. It's some of the most fun I've had in wrestling. Fans seem to respond really good to it. Um, but yeah, like when I when I spoke to our A people, I spoke to the MGM people, and I spoke to the office people, and everyone just goes, I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, what's gonna happen? Is uh, this season five? Do we have a deal? What's up? And they're like, I don't know. So I feel like no one knows. It's a little bit unorganized right now, and, which is sad because it's such a fun show. It is. It really is. And um, the whole situation with it, in my opinion, is that it is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, shows on El Rey. It, yeah, that, that, it's the biggest show in LA. Uh, the second biggest was from Dust to Dawn. They cut that show to get bigger budget. Uh -huh. and they cut our budget. It's like, what the hell? And then I guess a bunch of cable providers dropped our Ray, so I don't know what's going to happen with that. Yeah, but thinking it's the biggest show on the network, right. this wouldn't be an issue. I, I don't understand how that works. Like, yeah. I have no idea how that works. I don't know who makes yeah. those decisions. I feel like maybe they, they need to shake up in the El Rey office department. Mm. That's what I feel like personally. Maybe I'll get some heat for saying that, but who cares? It's, you guys can sort that shit out. Yeah. And I was telling you before, you got to put out your own podcast, but you got a lot going on right now. <laughs> Tell the people before we go what you got going on right now. I have a little YouTube show. Um, I'm very active on Instagram. Um, to my website, you can go to pjblack.com or darewolf.me. There's some cool merch on there. Some of my favorite indie wrestling matches are on there. Uh, a lot of my skydiving and base jumping stuff is on my YouTube channel. I have a little vlog, which uh, hopefully you'll send me some of these clips, please. <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah, I've been slacking on that, and everyone's like, I gotta start a podcast, and I got so much stuff going on right now that I, I've been slacking on certain areas. Yeah. And then I kind of like focus all my energy on just one thing. Uh -huh. and like right now, I'm just focusing on, on like wrestling for a little while. You know, like I, yeah. I've, been, I've been wrestling every day, uh, like five, six times a week sometimes. Mm -hmm. Uh, body's feeling good, so as long as that's gonna feel good, I'm just gonna keep going. And then I call it, you know, like injuries happen, it's wrestling, it's inevitable, yeah. so it's gonna happen. And you had a bad injury, not wrestling related. Yeah, I know, base jumping, it's, yeah. it's always base jumping related. Uh huh. <laughs> You're the only wrestler that gets injured from other stuff. <laughs> Wait, wait, bad just to say that. He goes, man, you're the only guy that does crazy stuff in the ring and even crazier stuff outside. outside. Of the ring. Yeah, <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah, I know. Well, that, that's me, though. So the Daryl yeah. is not a character. Now, how does this make you feel that I actually have forgotten your WWE name <laughs> and I just know you as PJ Black now? I like that. I like yeah. that. You know, like, I, I told him if I ever go back, I'm going to uh -huh. PJ Black. I feel like Justin Gabriel's dead. Yeah. And it's kind of sad because I've been. If you think about it, I was only Justin, Justin Gabriel for what, eight years? Uh -huh. I've been PJ Black for 15 years. Exactly. Yeah, and so wrestling's like I feel like you've um, gotten way better throughout the years. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. You uh, and um, even Drew, um, Drew McIntyre, who I know him as um, Gallows, yeah, yeah. you know, I got used to that. Yeah. Just like this, I'm getting used to that. But they didn't keep, the, they made him go back to there. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he could have probably negotiated something. Uh -huh. like that, he's just happy to be back. Yeah. And he belongs there, man. He yeah, he's, be. but he's way better. Way better, way better. Just like yourself. When you Thank go you. back, you. you're going to kill that. it. I feel like I've always done the same thing. And mm. just, they would never let me be me. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like on the Indies, you have freedom. And mm. obviously, promos was never my, my strong suit. And that's why I started uh -huh. the YouTube channel. Yeah. And I, uh, I feel like that's one of my strong points now. Uh -huh. Even the WWE guys were like, oh, cool. You know, like when, when, when I went back there, I was like, yo, let me cut a promo for you guys. Like, yeah. Let's, let's do this. Yeah, they kind of muted you because yeah. you have a lot of personality, but they <laughs> they just had you as like that in-ring guy that right. just kicked ass in-ring, you see, know? That's why it's important. 
like for guys like me and Drew to kind of like step back, uh -huh. come to the Indies, show people what we're all about. Yeah. You know, like get that character out, get that personality out, mm -hmm. work on a new move set, whatever it is. Character, exactly. Whatever it is that you need to work on, and kind of like you get an outside perspective because like I feel like wrestling is an evolving sport like mm -hmm. all the time. Like coming back to the Indies, we kind of forgot that it was evolving because WWE evolved in a, a certain way. But whether it's good or bad, it doesn't matter. Like but on the Indies, it evolves so much quicker. Yeah. So like working so many different people on the Indies, like, it's, it's made me grow as a person, as a wrestler. Definitely. And I feel like, they, I appreciate you saying that yeah. and noticing that. Yeah, I mean, I was looking right here and I'm like, Who's that holy guy? shit, Justin <laughs> Gabriel? I remember that guy, that's not this guy that I'm looking at. I mean, look at him, you know? I mean, you work great, you work great with Nexus, you know, with the whole gang, with Nexus, Ryback and the whole gang. That's when I actually started growing the beard. I, I grew the beard at one Thanksgiving and uh, Vince was like, Wow, you don't look like a kid anymore. You look like a kid with a beard. <laughs> How old were you in this photo, though? 20, 27. <laughs> yeah, you look like a baby with, ten, a, with that years. hair on your yeah, face. 10 but... years ago, I'm 37. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, like that. even now, if I shave it now, I look too young. Uh huh. That's why I just keep this. And you went blonde. Yeah. Great, great, it's great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be nice. It's <laughs> messing with you. Notice right now, you rocking Air Maxes yeah. that match the shirt real nice. Are you into sneakers? Or like, I, are you I, a sneaker guy? I, I used to be. I used to be. When I was in, when, when I had this run, the WWE run, uh -huh. I uh, I actually owned probably like four or five hundred pairs of sneakers. Really? When I moved to California. I I got rid of everything. All my personal belongings. I, I had four motorcycles I got rid of, two trucks, I got rid of that. I gave away like 200 pairs of trainers. I legit just kept, I, got it, I, I sold my house, sold my furniture, sold everything. I just wanted to live a simpler life. Yeah, you weren't into the material things. Yeah, yeah, just, just uh -huh. give it a go for a year to see how that goes. Uh -huh. um, and it, it legit, it simplified my life for sure. Yeah. I'm a lot less stressed. Were you into the Jordans? I'm so big into Jordans. I, I'm more of an Adidas guy. Uh -huh. um, a fan actually bought me some Air Maxes once. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I started wearing them and I was like, oh, these are cool. So I got them in every I like those Air Maxes. Thank you, thank you. I designed the colors. Oh, that's Nike ID, I see. Nike ID, yep. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know if you watched Lucha Underground season four. Yeah. My hair is actually all those colors. Really? So that's what the whole inspiration. That was the inspiration. The hair. Yep. I love when people design shoes on Nike ID and there's actual, like, an actual concept behind it. I actually wore those to my hair appointment one day and this, the lady who does my hair, she's fantastic. Uh-huh. And I, people don't realize that they're artists too. Of course. And I was like, yo, do anything you want. So she looked at my shoes, she's like, I'm going to do that. You can actually you can see the pictures on my Instagram. Well, it's good talking to you, yeah, man. man. Thank you Definitely, so bro. DJBlack.com, please. Uh, go check out some cool stuff there. My vlogs are on there. Uh, you can get some cool merch, too. DJBlack.com. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Daryl, PJ Black, and you're hanging out with DJ Dells.